We've been raising chicken here for quite a while and having a few key items has been once made raising chickens so easy. And honestly, I can't even imagine a life of not raising chickens, but without these 10 essential items to our chicken coop and home and backyard flock, you really couldn't do it quite this easy. So let's break down what those 10 essentials truly are. And the first one is the coop. One of the most important things that you need to get when raising chickens is a coop or a basic home for them. We were lucky enough to have this horse barn that we turned into partially a chicken coop. So inside of this horse stall, we reinforced the top so nothing can go in from the top, no predators can go in, no predators can come in from underneath. There is chicken wire down here and all throughout the chicken coop. And this really creates a space that is safe for our chickens to live and go into when they are sleeping and stay away from any of the harsh environments that our zone 7B really has. So you can see everything is reinforced, chicken wire everywhere. What's really important in your coop is having roosting bars for your chickens, as well as nesting boxes for them and having an area that's big enough for them to stay out and safe for them, which is going to actually, one, allow for ventilation, but also make sure that it is nice and dry from any of mother nature's rain, snow, heavy winds, a really area that can stay nice and warm in the winter, but also nice and cool in the summer as well. So having that shade in here. We use the deep litter method. If you aren't using that, you do wanna make sure that you are routinely cleaning your chicken coop and providing a clean, safe area for your chickens. With that, you'll see inside of our chicken coop, back here, there is a little door right there. That door is going to lead to the second most important thing that I think when raising chickens, and that is an outdoor run. We use these two outdoor run sections. We have a flock of about 15 chickens and two guinea fowl right now. So this is really great. We have some nice old lawn furniture and furniture in here for them to roost and jump on. We have an old tire here that we turned into a dust bath that needs to be filled, but you want to provide an area for your chickens to get outside. In commercial farming, chickens do not always have an outdoor run, but when you have your own outdoor flock, I love to allow our chickens to be outdoors. We actually free range our chickens, so they have a lot of space that they can run around in during the day and enjoy mother nature. They love to be able to pick at the ground, scratch at the ground, gather up any extra buggies, which is gonna be really great for their diet, allowing them to have extra nutritional items in their diet that they might not get in any of their regular foods. It allows them to get nice grit in their diet. So if you do not allow for your chickens to free range, I would also say you wanna add oysters, oyster shells, or some type of grit in their diet because this is gonna help with digesting food and really making sure that they have a clean digestive system. If they're free ranging, then you don't need to add that to their diet, but something you can also add as well to help. Now with our outdoor run, like I said, you wanna make sure that there's ample space for them to roam around, ability to get a nice sunshine. This is gonna allow for a more nutritious egg as well as a more nutritious chicken. They're gonna have more vitamins and minerals in their diet, which will also be in your eggs when you get your eggs as well. We also wanna allow for dirt or dust baths. So like I said, I have an old tire in here, but we also have a lot of just dusty areas for our chickens to go around in. Dust baths are really important to chickens overall health because they will take dust baths. They do not take you good old showers like we do. Instead, they will roll around in dust and this will actually help smother any parasites or bugs that are on their bodies and make sure that they are healthy and clean. We do wanna make sure when providing our chickens a space that it is predator proofed. 
So here at our homestead, we have our coop, which we talked a lot about how this area is predator proofed. We've lined the top and the bottom of our coop with chicken wire to prevent any birds from coming in the top, as well as anything crawling in underneath, especially during the night. And then we do have that door, which is dependent on when the sun rises and sets to when it opens and closes. So all the chickens will go in at night and they have a nice safe spot for them to roost and sleep in. During the day, you want to make sure that you also have a nice predator proofed area. If you are free ranging it, it makes it a little bit harder because you can't provide that much safety, but having the ability to have trees and areas of shade so that your chickens can naturally go into an area that is safe from predators that maybe are flying overhead. We also have our chicken run. So in the colder months, especially when animals are right about to hibernate or go into hibernation, or there's just not as many available resources for them, we will just keep our chickens in the outdoor run and not allow for free ranging. If we're on vacation for a couple of days or weeks, we also will just keep this locked up because we're always kind of home around. We know that it's safe for our chickens to be free ranging because our dogs are always out and it really eliminates a lot of the predators in our areas. But our run here is really nice and predator proof because it's protected on the top from any predators, hawks coming in potentially from the top, as well as the bottom. We do have chicken wire throughout. We also have a rock lining edge, which does help prevent any animals from climbing in around. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. You can see here, we just took some slab rocks and put them along the edge of here. A lot of them are just buried in the dirt now. This has actually really helped take out any predators because they just can't dig in there. And a lot of times they don't try to dig further out. They'll try to dig right by the fence. And if they can't get in, they honestly just don't even come in. So that's been really helpful and a nice way to do this in a more cost-effective way because we do live in an area that has a lot of rocks. And you can see, we did that over here. We did it all around, but you can really see it on this edge as well. Another really important item for raising chickens is actually making sure that you have the right food for their diet. Here at our homestead, we use a nature serve feed and it is amazing. It is packed with essential oils as well as all the nutrients that we need for our chickens to be happy and healthy. We use the layer mix and it has really created some beautiful eggs for our chickens. In order to feed our chickens, we actually use this nice Home Depot bucket, which allows us to put in a lot of feed. And then we have this nice vat here so we can go on vacation and really free feed our chickens all of the time. Now, this isn't to say we don't always allow for chicken treats. Our chickens do free range, so they get a lot of goodies as well that way. But making sure that you're giving your chickens a good feed is going to be really important to making sure that you get great eggs as well. And with that, you want to make sure that you're providing your chickens with a watering system. This is really dirty. Um, when you keep chickens, things get dirty. But we use a large garbage bin here. We've attached some of these little watering spigots. I can put a link down below on Amazon. You can see it allows them to get their own water. And then in the winter, we actually have a heater band that goes around here. And that makes sure that the water stays nice and warm and doesn't freeze over. We also suggest doing a little bungee on top so that your chickens don't open this up and fall inside. Another really important item for raising chickens is having nesting boxes. Right here, we already have a chicken that's in her nesting box right now. This one's getting cleaned out, but you wanna make sure that you have a nice soft bedding below this. We just use hay. It's really easy because you can easily clean it out. It's a cheap product to use and our chickies are really happy in there. The last essential that we like to have in our backyard flock is our own chicken first aid kit. Chickens and any animal that you raise are inevitably going to get hurt in some way. So make sure that you have your own first aid kit that's dedicated to them. You have ointments, sprays, bandages, scissors, anything that you need. Maybe it's not 
something that you bought originally for them. Maybe you're using something that you have. Check out your local tractor supply store or animal supply store and you can pick up some things. We can link some things on Amazon that might be helpful in the comments down below. And making sure that you're prepared is gonna be the number one thing when raising any type of animal so that you are ready for anything that might come. I hope this is helpful and happy chick raising. See you again next time. Bye.